Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition video here on Game of Fusa. A special console war, or should I say pre-console war, between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now basically what we're going to do here is we're going we're gonna to compare both of these consoles together based on what we know. Now if you're new to Game Palooza, don't forget to check out our other video game videos after uh, this video. So for our first console we have the Xbox One. The launch price is 499 American dollars. The Xbox One does have a used game restriction, which means that you will have issues playing used games. I believe you have to pay extra to activate a used games. Yeah, that sucks. Now, when it comes to specs, this is what I do know so far. The Xbox One has 8GB of DDR3 RAM, which is pretty good. And it does have an AMD modified 8-core processor, which is not bad. That's also pretty good. And it does have some sort of AM AMD GPU, integrated CPU, all-in-one chip for the, you know, for the graphics. Which I assume is not bad at all, based on what I saw. Um, now the main focus for the Xbox One that it's Microsoft is marketing that this is the all-in-one console. You can watch TV. You can do all kinds of crap on this console that's not even gaming related. Uh, granted, it does have some games that they showed off, and the games do look pretty cool. Like Dead Rising. But the main focus was that this console is basically a very expensive DVR that can play video games. And I'm not really impressed by the design of the console as you can see in the corner right there. Some people have referred to it as a VCR. The controller, however, is the strong point of the Xbox One. The controller is very impressive. I've heard that the people that have actually played the system or touched the controller are very, very impressed by how it feels. It feels like a very, very pricey, expensive controller. The buttons feel different than the 360 buttons. So. Uh, the controller is one thing that Microsoft got right. The controller is pretty awesome. Now let's take a look at the PlayStation 4. Okay, wait a minute. PlayStation 4... Okay, the PlayStation 4 has a launch price $100 cheaper than the Xbox One. Now this is very, very dangerous for Microsoft. Sony, I don't know if they did this at the last second, but they decided to launch their, their console at $399. Now as you recall, as you recall back in the 90s, this is what Sony did to the Sega Saturn. And you know, even though the Sega Saturn was a really awesome console, in my opinion, the Xbox One is not shaping up to be that much of an awesome console at the moment. So if Sony's really going in for the kill, it looks like they are, because they're they're gonna watch the system one hundred dollars cheaper. That's really, really saying something right there. Now the next thing is that uh, Sony deliberately fix the PlayStation 4 so that it does not have any use game restrictions. Now this is something that actually caused gamers to not like the Xbox One initially. And Sony had purposely did this so that they can take those gamers that were lured away from the Xbox One and they are now, they're, Sony's attracting them to the PlayStation 4. So it's like a complete opposite situation here. The 
Xbox One has restrictions on the use games and the PlayStation 4 doesn't. Now this is where things get confusing. The PlayStation 4 has 8GB of GDDR4 RAM. Now, the Xbox One also has 8GB. But the 8GB that, that is in the PlayStation 4 is actually more powerful, a lot more powerful than the Xbox One. I believe the Xbox One had DDR3 RAM, which is not nearly as powerful as the GDDR4 RAM. Now, I don't know how Sony pulled this off, but initially the PlayStation 4 is more powerful than the Xbox One. And they're selling it for $100 cheaper, so there's something that right here. Now, the processor is pretty much pretty much the same as the Xbox One. It's an 8-core AMD processor. They're calling it the Jaguar. No, it's not the Atari Jaguar. It's the PlayStation AMD CPU Jaguar. Now, uh, little is known about the, the GPU, same as the Xbox One GPU. We really don't know any speculations on it, except that both of them are appear to be identical. I mean, it's, they're developed by AMD, and they basically have the same concept with the GPU integrated CPU, all in one chip. I really don't know too much about it. I can't speculate uh, which one might have faster bus speed or you know, all that type of stuff. But at the moment, the PlayStation 4, right now, as, as of right now, is the more powerful console. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, if I was to choose between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, it, I would be stupid to say the Xbox One. I would definitely, definitely choose the PlayStation 4. I mean, based on the games that I've seen so far, yeah. Xbox One does have a few interesting games. Dead Rising 4, which I, I don't know, they, they claim it's exclusive, but I really doubt that it's going to stay exclusive for long. It's probably a timed exclusive game. And it will probably be on the PlayStation 4 eventually. But there's really nothing on the Xbox One that makes me want to pay $100 more to buy that console. So right now, as a pre-console war, I'm going with the PlayStation 4. Now I want you guys down below to tell me which console you're going to go with. Now, both of these consoles are probably going to launch days away from each other. That's my guess. I really don't think that Sony has the balls to launch their console on the same exact day as the Xbox. That would be unprecedented. If that happened, I would be... I, I don't know. That would be something I've never seen before. That would be ins insane. Now down below, I want you to tell me which console you're going to choose. If you were to buy either one of those consoles, I personally, like I said before, I'm going with the PS4. And I'm going to take one step further. I'm going to tell you that I would go with the PS PS4 and the Wii U as a combo. It's, it seems like every generation I've owned at least two consoles. So I think the Wii U and the PS4, those are my two consoles. The Xbox One at the moment is out of the equation. I'm not very interested in it. Uh, it's, it's, the price is ridiculous. It's not even as powerful as the PlayStation 4. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other awesome video game related videos. We have classic video game ads. We have awesome gameplay footage. I want you guys to go check it out right now.